All right, I'm trying to take advantage of some sunlight before the storm gets here and hopefully a little less wind for you guys. But this is the new truck. It is a 2020 Peterbilt 579, as you can see by the old Prime logo, which I know how to get that off. It's an old Prime truck, so you might hear some funny Prime quips around here. I'm just having fun. Um, start at the front. As you can see, it has the bull bar. If you remember, my other truck had the big old bull bar, the herd bull bar, and that thing was heavy. It rattled. And I didn't want to have to take the time to move it from the other truck to this truck. But, as I've also said, my insurance deductible, if I hit an animal, 1500 bucks, that came on the truck. So, oh I don't know what to do because there's so many things I'm going to talk about with upgrades, but I'm also at the same time kind of a cheap guy. Let this airplane go over. I live by an airport, of course. All right, so as I was saying, so the bull bar for right now is staying on there. I have a hard time. There's some things I want to do to this truck, but I have a hard time doing things for aesthetic only purposes. So yeah, I need new headlights. I hate the factory Peterbilt headlights. Um, the clearance lights, I actually found some for 20 bucks on Amazon that are smoked. So I'll actually be changing those out just for a little bit of appearance. But like there's a black shroud that you put over this and black and red is my all time favorite color combo, but we'll just have to see what that leads to. Yes, it does have the Packard MX-13, the 2019 year model, the one that everybody says is going to blow up. Emotional, damn it! But, I'll go into this probably later in other videos, and again, they put an extended warranty on this, so this truck being a 2020 has a 7 year, 700,000 mile major components warranty on this now. Why would they put a warranty on it? But why do they put a guarantee on the box, then? Because they know all they sold you was a guaranteed piece of shit. If you want me to take a dump in a box and mark it guaranteed, I will. I got spare time. Yes, it has issues. I know a guy that has the same truck. I think it's in blue or black. I don't remember. But his truck, just like this, and it had camshaft issue. But you're always going to hear about the negative issues because that makes good YouTube videos. Um, it does have brand new steer tires. Uh, we'll go in the back. It's also got brand new drive tires because, as you know, Prime has the super singles. So, one of the things that I took into consideration when buying this truck was the fact that brand new tires, 10 virgin Michelin drive tires, that ain't cheap. A lot of the trucks I looked at had recaps. This one does not have recaps. It has virgin treads, so that's a good thing. So, let me close up the engine, and we'll show a little bit more on the outside. All right. Now, one of the main things, and I'm going to tie this in real quick. We'll go back more for the engine. Is this thing here, because again, prime truck, everybody knows, has a tri pack APU. And why does that matter? Because the other truck that I got rid of, the last one, babe, was a 2019 Kenworth. I'll show you under here, you lose almost all your storage because of the good old APU. That'll come back on the other side. But one of the things that this is so important to me is the babe had 670,000 miles, and that engine had just over 22,000 hours. This is a 2020, one year newer. Uh, I did keep my maximizer floor mats. And again, this is the premium package. But this truck, one year newer, with 150,000 less miles, this engine has 10,500 hours. And everybody knows one of the main things that can cause a problem is idling. And everybody knows Prime, and again, I'm not bashing, I'm pointing out positive things here, is that because they don't idle, because it had the idle shut down, because it has the APU, this engine, even though it's a Packard, does not have a whole bunch of idle time. So I ended up getting this, I know I haven't mentioned it yet, for it was stickered at 51.9. I got it for 50 grand plus my trade in. I did not finance near that much. Came with keys, it has the good old clickers, but. I also, I'm just going to tie this in, this does have the full door with the window, learned from my mistakes. Remember what I said, getting better? So I went to Harbor Freight yesterday, and instead of piecemealing it together like I did on Babe, I have a full tool selection on this truck. I've got all my fluids, triangles, you know, you got your bunk heater. Under there, it does have the separate S-bar bunk heater, and got, there's my subwoofer for my kick and jams. But I learned my lesson. I went to Harbor Freight, didn't spend a whole lot of money, about 250 bucks. And this truck now has its own complete full setup of tools. Um, I don't use them for anything but this truck. There's so many times when I was having eh, my reefer issues, I had problems. I didn't have the right tools. She now has a full assortment of tools, 200 gallon tanks. But as you saw, all the space that, that takes up, 
we will be buying a side box. I'm going to have to get a toolbox for the side. I don't want all those fluids underneath my bunk where I'm sleeping. There's the fan for the APU. Came with two load lock bars, bar holders. So, again, got a long catwalk. Again, brand new rims. They even put caps on them for me. No more spike lug nuts. Darn, you know, they came on it. But again, brand new Michelin drive tires. Um, I don't think on the back that I'm going to do. I had all the lights and stuff. It's under the trailer. Again, spending money on something, that's money that can go towards a new trailer and a new truck or new things for the business. So I don't think I'll do like I did on the other truck. But man, I sure would like chrome instead of this plastic, as you can see. It's got some rust because they pushed it all the way in and it wasn't covering the outside of the tire, so I had to pull it out. So I would not mind some chrome Hodgkin fenders, but again, that's money. So, all right, let's get on to the inside of the truck. And fire extinguisher, tire checker, gloves. And the first thing I did is I had to change the seats. This is a Peterbilt seat. While it is not near as comfortable as that Atlas, I don't know what that monstrosity is, but that was the most uncomfortable seat I have ever sat in. I just one of those just spare, so I actually switched the seats. It was just a couple bolts. I was going to film it, but decided y'all didn't want to see that. So, let's see, I'm going to shut the door. And one of my favorite things did that about the pack car motor. And I told y'all this, I'm going to keep talking about it. So I've had Cummins. I've had Cummins with 80,000. I've had Cummins with 50,000. And I've had a Cummins with 670,000. And the pack car is so much quieter. <laughs> Just the quietness doesn't sound like it's about to rattle. But again, this is does have the smart navigation in it so i went back to my old tmc days and this wire is going to go away i've ordered a couple of things on i'm going to mount to the cb posts an auxiliary power so this cord because it's not long enough to go down here and i don't want cords wrapped around so but when we went back up to tmc days that right there is the thumbnail for the tmc video if you remember but i got my garmin mounted up there i've got to order i had to order this only special type of stickers this would not stick to the mirror um, funny, this truck has the Bendix lane departure, but for whatever reason before they sold it, they took the camera out. So that is actually my motive dash cam. I got to order the little magnet so I can put my Garmin next to it and get that mounted. We still do have to do that. Uh, let's see. We did get my Marine Corps knobs on there. It does have a load ride scale, so no more $200 to Oklahoma. Let's see what else we got. Uh, that is just a tablet. That's just my ELD. It, again, it had the RAM mount. It took the RAM mount, like I said. There's my maximizer floor mats. Above storage, this is just quick stuff. There's gloves. There's DOT stuff in there, pins. I'm really trying to go minimal on this truck. There's so much stuff that went away. So, there's my CB. This just clean supplies. My Garmin headset. I actually have two more headset reviews coming. Companies have reached out, so it gives more options. Again, that's just sunglasses, pins. There's also a back scratcher in there air freshener, more storage, let's see, into the back we go, so everybody knows the good old Peterbilt, got that, now I'm weird, I didn't know, like, when you get married, for those of you who aren't married, yesterday was about 26 year anniversary, there's a question that comes up, and that's, what side of the bed do you want, I didn't realize when I set up my truck, I had my first truck, when I realized where I was going to put my head, that I always put my head down here, well, in the Kenworth, all the desk and stuff was over here, but I'm back in Peterbilt so I can set my phone, my watch, my chargers. Again, you got the pull-out table. This lifts up for storage. So I can make and edit videos right here like I'm used to. Again, I've just got basics up there. There's my Thermo King. There's the APU switch. Microwave. There is the inverter down there. It's a 1500 watt inverter. I don't know if that's going to be enough for me or not. Um, I've looked at a 2,000, a 3,000, a 4,000, but I don't know the wiring on those eight, on those inverters. If the 1,500 watt wire is thick enough and what gauge I can go up to. So if you know, let me know. Again, it is an ultra loft. I looked at one that was identical. That was a mid roof with a cap. They were the same price, so I went for the ultra lofts. So right now, this is just storage for. We got your money jar, my internet. That's my gaming system. Up here, that's just cords and stuff. I'm actually getting some small bins. Here's where you keep your clothes. Again, t-shirts, sleep stuff, jeans and stuff. Mirror so I can see my beautiful self in the morning. 
Uh, one of the things the dealership did, one of the one of the things they did right is they did put a brand new refrigerator in it for me. Never been used, just to store that Heath bar on the way home. Um, my TV, 32 inch TV, did fit from the Kenworth. It's a little bit different mount. Uh, it's a double bunk, of course. Like I said, it's the Ultra Loft, but I just I love it because this being up gives me headroom when I sit up and holds everything in place. He said, so you got, you know, that's my water printer, shower bag, food, not a whole lot to see up there, but boy, there is so much more room in this ultra loft than in the mid roof, one that I've been in before. But that is, so oh, also, not that I ever have passengers, this does have the table, pull out table with the, fa the, faux, the faux wood. So we've got a couple more pieces that we're waiting on, piece of the puzzle, like I said, now that we're home, 512,000 miles, life is great. She is ready to rock and roll. We get the paperwork tomorrow to the DMV. That will allow us to get our license plate. My daughter will be here in a minute to put the decals on. And she's, like I said, there are a couple things Amazon's delivering today. But she will be set up and ready to roll. We should be back on the road next week. So y'all stay tuned. Appreciate you. God bless. Let's get rolling.